Hi, in this project, I'm going to show you how to make a rod tree so you don't damage your equipment when you're out there fishing. That being said, let me show you what I've done. These are the parts I use for the project. I chose 2 inch in diameter ABS black pipe instead of PVC because it's stronger and also because it came already cut in two foot sections so I didn't have to buy a 10 foot section of PVC. And then I'm also using two 2 inch in diameter T sections of PVC pipe and one 2 inch 4 way PVC pipe. And then I'll also use some Christie's hot glue to bond everything together when I cut it down to size. This is an exploded view of the rod tree. The three vertical black ABS pieces have been cut to six inches in length and the two horizontal black ABS pieces have been cut to three inches in length. So after you make all those cuts that will use up one of your two foot section of black ABS pipe. So the next step was to cut a notch in the end of the six inch vertical piece of ABS and what that is going to be for is for the rod handle to go ahead and slip down into it and I traced out a three quarter inch by two inch rectangle and cut it out using a blade from a hacksaw and that's what I came up with. This is the final finished section for the rod tree. Everything's been hot glued in and I wiped everything down with MEK prior to painting it. This is the finished product after all the parts have been assembled and glued together along with a nice coat of paint. This is the assembled rod tree installed in the 2 and 3 8 inch diameter base mount. Now the outside diameter of the ABS pipe is almost the exact same diameter as the pedestal that slides into the base mount. But because I still have the plastic bushings inside my base mount, this fit a little tight. So what I needed to do was measure the depth of the base mount, which was three inches, and then take a heat gun on the last three inches of the rod tree that's going to slide into the base mount. And it took a few minutes to heat it up. And once I did that where it was pliable, I could insert it inside the base mount and twist it around so it would fit nice and snug. This is what the rod tree looks like when it has some poles in it. I had to move it down to the lower deck because I'm in the garage and I didn't have enough room to put the poles. So you can see how everything looks. And I'll just kind of pan up there. And that's it. The whole project costs less than $20. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.